Hello, Pastor Tim here bringing you today's Kingdom Key. We're going to be reading out of Luke chapter 22, and then we're going to be moving over into the Gospel of John. Starting with verse 24 in Luke chapter 22, it says, A dispute rose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And he said to them, Kings of the Gentiles exercise the lordship over them, and those that are in authority are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become the youngest and the leader as one who serves. For who is greater, the one who reclines at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at the table? But I among you as one who serves. You are those who have stayed with me in my trials, and I assign to you as my father assigned to me a kingdom, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes. So Jesus was emphasizing here the important roles the, the apostles would play in the advancement of the kingdom of God. But he was telling them one of the keys of the kingdom that we all have to understand, especially those of us in leadership positions, is that we can't use leadership to impose our power or to benefit, but we have to use our leadership for the benefit of others. Jesus really came to flip the idea of kingdoms upside down to where you have this top-down mentality to where everyone is a servant. And Jesus put this to practice in John chapter 13. And I'm going to start reading in verse 1 because this is kind of one of the next events after what I just read. When the apostles were arguing over who was the greatest, it's because Jesus was about to be crucified and someone was about to be put in charge. And they wanted to know, hey, who's going to be in charge of this operation so that we can call the shots? And Jesus was like, that's not how the kingdom works. The greater your position, the greater your servanthood. So in John chapter 13, verse 1, it says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God, was going back to God, rose from supper, laid aside his outer garment, taking a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped. Now this messed Simon Peter up. Then he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I'm doing you don't understand now, but afterward you will understand. And Peter said to them, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him said, If I do not wash my feet, then you have no share with me. And then Peter took it overboard. And so, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands and my head. And Jesus said, The one who has been bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not every one of you, for he knew who was going to betray him. That's why he said, Not all of you are clean. Then he washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place. And he said, Do you understand what I've done to you? Now listen to this. He says, You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right. So I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. For I've given you example that you should do just as I've done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you who do them. So Jesus became a servant. He was Lord. He was master of the earth. And he showed that the greatest way to lead, the greatest way to have power is to use that power to serve the least, to use that power to serve everyone. And that is one of the greatest keys to the kingdom that we can ever learn is that folks, no matter what position you have, no matter how high and mighty you are, your cause is to serve. And it's one of the things that I think is missing in the kingdom of God today is that people don't understand the heart of serving and that everyone is a servant. We're not just a servant of the Lord. We're a servant of each other. No matter your position, if you're in management, if you own a company, your call is to serve. And to wash someone's feet in that day, it was very dirty. It was a dishonorable job. And Jesus did one of the least honorable things to one of the least honorable body parts in order to send a strong message that, hey, if you're going to be a member of my kingdom, you have to have the heart of a servant and a willingness to serve those around you, even if you have authority over them. And that's a great kingdom key to learn, and I think it's something that we need to practice. So anyhow, God bless you and keep you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is today's kingdom key.